Today we're learning about fitness testing, which has a lot of value to it to determine um, fitness level, improvement in cardiovascular endurance, as well as strength and uh, flexibility, which are all three components of um, exercise that we want to be incorporating on a daily basis. So annually or semi-annually, we do three fitness tests, um, dependent on the company's needs. We do a three-minute step test, push-up test, and a sit and reach test. And these tests all have importance because they help determine cardiovascular endurance, strength, and flexibility. And so it's a great way to show improvement in other areas of their health and wellness, just um, not just on the scale. So the first test we like to start with is the step test, which helps get the blood flowing, get the muscles loosened up a little bit to be able to perform the push-ups well and to get the muscles loosened out for the hamstring stretch. So, we always like to demonstrate the step should be a 12 inch step and we want to step to a 96 beat per minute metronome and we test for three minutes. And so we want to make sure that we're demonstrating to the client to make sure that they're well aware of um, the test that we're going to be doing and why we're doing it. And so we can use our phone or computer, we have a metronome, um, whatever's easiest for you. And so we want to make sure we're at 96 beats a minute and that the individual can hear the beat. And so we'll want to show them, ask them if they can hear the beat, and they just want to step to the beat. Up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. Do you feel like you can hear the beat? I can hear the beat. Okay, so we're going to test for three minutes. Go ahead when you're ready, and I will start the timer. Okay. Down, down, up, up. Good. So we'll do this for three minutes, and at the end of the three minutes, I will have you sit down immediately in the chair, and we'll get your heart rate, okay? The next test we'll do is the push-up test. For females, we want them to be on their knees, um, making sure that their hands are about hip width, shoulder width apart, and making sure that their fingers are pointing forward. Um, we want to make sure that um, their hips are not um, sticking up when they're going down into a push-up, that they are rolled, tilted forward, and that their abs are contracted when they're going down. We want to make sure that we are putting our fists on uh, the mat so that they have a target to hit with their chin. And we want to make sure that um, they're making their elbows go down to at least a 90 degree angle when they're doing the push-up. And this is to muscle failure, so they have an unlimited amount of time if they need to rest in between uh, push-up, then they can rest at the upward position. And if they collapse or fall down, um, rest in any way other than on the upward position, then they are completed with the test at that point. So, you can go ahead and start when you're ready. Okay, if you want to tuck your hips under, pull them under, there we go. Good. Making sure that you're counting out loud for them. There's three, four, good job. <laughs> and so, you'll want to make sure that they're um, doing good formed push-ups. If they are starting to get where their position and their uh, form is a lot weaker and not able to sustain at that point, then you, they should be done with the test if they're sacrificing form. For male, we want them to be um, on their uh, toes with their hands straight out in front and going down to a 90 degree angle as well. For this last test, so we're testing the flexibility of the hamstrings and the lower back. Um, typically, you can use a sit and reach box, which we don't have, but um, we can do a makeshift box. We want to make sure that the client has their feet hip width apart and that their knees aren't bent. And um, we want to use our step that we use for the step test, placing the ruler on top. The 15 inch mark needs to go at the edge of the step. And we want to push it so their feet are flat. Um, flexed up against the step. So if you want to scoot forward a little bit for me, for me. Um, they're going to get three tries to help ease those muscles a little bit. Um, you're going to put both hands together like this, overlapping, so I can see how far you're going to stretch out. And um, you're going to hold it for a second or two so that I can make sure that I see how far you go, okay? So go ahead and exhale when you go out. Good, okay. Get two more tries. Perfect. Awesome job. Okay, that's testing your hamstring and lower back flexibility. 
After we've completed all of the tests, we will make sure that we categorize them based off of their age and their gender um, to determine where they fall within the range of the uh, everyday population. And then we'll write those numbers down on a handout for them and, and give those to the individual so that they have something that they can look to improve on and see where they want to get their next uh, category to.